So I want to chat really briefly about the artist Spencer Finch because he is the perfect example of this trippy concept that I call teleportation. And his work is currently on view at James Cohan Gallery in the Lower East Side. I'm going to walk through like three of his pieces on view right now and then kind of jump in deeper how this relates to art viewing for the rest of your life forever. Uh, the first piece is called Cumulus Humulus Amherst. Sorry, science people, if I'm not pronouncing this correctly. It's, it's clouds, and it's made entirely out of scotch tape, like regular old craft scotch tape on blue paper. And then uh, falling leaf hickory. It is a watercolor. Each one of the leaves is hand painted on one single sheet of Japanese rice paper. So this is one piece of paper that he's cut and folded so that it mimics the way a leaf falls from a tree. And then, and then in the back room, there is a single fan, like a, like a Home Depot industrial fan. It's titled Wind. Through Emily Dickinson's window, August 14th, 2012, 3.22 p.m. So he literally went into Emily Dickinson's house, uh, opened the window, and then used a device called an anemometer to measure the wind speed over a two-minute period of time. So you're getting an exact copy of the wind coming through Emily Dickinson's window on whatever date and time uh, he measured it. So one of the things that I'm thinking about when I'm looking at art is not just the object. Kind of a fun bonus thing to do is to kind of take a step back mentally and look at where where you are. What I mean by that is with a lot of art, it's about the present moment. Like you're in a gallery and you're looking at a work of art and that's it and it's a great experience. But the majority of art, certainly the majority of art in, in all of art history, is designed to take you somewhere, a specific place or time, and that place is just beyond the wall, whether that's water lilies or to France in the 1500s, I don't know, it, it, it takes you somewhere. Here's the thing, it takes everyone who looks at it to the same place and time. But teleportation is something entirely different. Stick with me. It does two things. One, it takes you to a place that is neither the gallery nor what is being depicted in the image. It takes you to some place different. And even more crazy is that it tends to take every single person who looks at it to somewhere different. Because the work of art is acting like a personal memory trigger that takes you in that moment to a specific time and place in your own experience, which can be an otherwise mundane, forgotten memory. Uh, the leaves took me back for some reason to the sidewalk in front of my apartment after a rainy day, because perhaps at the time a leaf that was similar fell, and I noticed it in my periphery, but only recalled it once in front of this piece. Or a very specific memory, uh, the fan piece took me to like this very particular view of a very particular window of a bed and breakfast I was at with my wife like three years ago. So Spencer Finch is really good at two things. One, representing kind of mundane realities to such an extreme visceral experience. And the second thing he's doing is he's picking these subjects, whether the leaves fallings or the heat from the sun or the way a breeze comes through the window that are so universal to all of us but trigger such individual specific memories. The whole point of this whole video is, is a tiny piece of advice when I go to contemporary art galleries and that is I never walk in expecting to appreciate skill by which I mean someone's ability to create something with their hand. I never walk into a gallery expecting to appreciate beauty, like looking for how pretty is it. Uh, if I were to do that in this show, I would have come across this fan and said, that's stupid, and then left. But if I walk into the gallery empty and just ready to say, like, hey, whatever this is, it is then suddenly I can feel the breeze and have this crazy cool memory triggered and appreciate the fact that he's doing this magical thing with such simple materials. And those types of shows are the ones that tend to stick with me well beyond my experience of the gallery. Check out Spencer Finch at James Cohen Gallery on view through December 22nd, so you have like three seconds. Sorry. 
Oh, and 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 some quick uh, bonus material. I, I wanted to use Spencer Finch in this show to talk about uh, teleportation, which is a concept that applies to a lot of the art that I love. But Spencer Finch in particular happens to be good at all three of the things, which is what makes kind of him so brilliant. Uh, meaning that uh, uh, in the space of the gallery, you're appreciating the physical piece, being like, wow, tape, I didn't realize it could do that cool thing and make a cloud. You're also having a specific memory triggered in the majority of the pieces. And he's, t he's taking you to something very specific. If you want to imagine being in Emily Dickinson's house, like he's giving you that chance to go to that place on that specific time. If you want more content like this, I'm experimenting all the time. Give it a thumbs up. That's your vote. Uh, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.